my engineer at the time, Jay Mark, came across this beat from a producer by the name of Jay, Jay Bray out of Virginia. Um, we listened to it, broke it down. I put the song, I put the, I created the verses, then I put them in place. We listened to it for a little while, and it was like, I think we got one. Real life. come up with that song? We were in the lab, just coming across beats. Uh, my engineer at the time, Jay Mark, came across this beat from a producer by the name of Jay, Jay Bray out of Virginia. Um, we listened to it, broke it down. I put the song, I put the, I created the verses, then I put them in place. We listened to it for a little while, and it was like, I think we got one. Now, how'd your mama yeah. feel about that when she heard that song? My oh, mama doesn't care. <laughs> she, <laughs> my mom doesn't care about none. She's like, I like that. That's catchy. But like, right. overall, it wouldn't know. Because my mom would have been like, why is that on me? Why'd you, why'd you put that on me? Like, what does that mean? My mom doesn't care about anything. She, like, she likes, she, like I said, she's a musician. Mm -hmm. And she, she was in choir and teaching, singing and all of that. So... Her whole it. thing was on just pattern, length, catchiness, and sound. And have, you ever, have you ever thought about doing a song with your mom? With my mom? Yeah. My mom doesn't care. <laughs> she's she's she, like, nah, I ain't worried about all that. I try to get in the studio all the time to either play something yeah. and uh, get a producer to create a beat around it, but she don't care. Oh, that's crazy. So with the success of that song, where are all, where are all places did that song take you? Like, what, what did you do? Because it was so big, and I remember just hearing it everywhere. What, did, what all did that song create for you? Uh, it put me on a few USO tours, and I've traveled. I've been to all 50 states um, numerous times. So before I Look Good, Dirty Third Records, we, uh, and Freestyle Kings, we dropped a tape called Off the Chain and we were dropping mixtapes. So we were traveling the whole Chitlin circuit for yeah. a while from Arkansas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, Texas, Mississippi, Alabama, a little bit of Georgia, uh, touched Florida a few times before that. And then we took off with I Look Good and just hit all 50. Now, the world has become so social media. Right. You came up in the age where it was hand in hand, mm -hmm. you know, looking people, meeting people, touching the fans. Mm -hmm. What do you feel like is more effective for you? In this day and age, all of it. Okay. Like, I know hand in hand is still real. Now it's gone from, if you, if you go hand in hand, it's gone from, a real physical CD to now USB. Right. But also the value in that USB has also gone up too. So you can put a lot more music on. So I can put my whole catalog on and sell it for way more. Right. And hand to hand at a time or do single projects and make, make just as equally as much money. Right. And then on the same hand, same effect, you download a stream. Now the streams aren't as price friendly for you because you don't own the website, you don't own the platforms, and you you have to conform to some point to whatever they say they'll give you for you being on that platform. In some ways, you can't deny not being on those platforms right. because they do still generate you money, mm -hmm. and it's another source. Of income you have streaming then you have physical then you also have radio right so all those things are still important then you also have radio as far as radio and television all of those things are important if you can't get all of those things then you're making money in different types of avenues all at once about one thing so all of those things are important real life Real life.
Street Star.